Hey everybody, you're watching Ready, Set, Drone, the show that teaches you how to fly and what to buy. Today I have a pretty awesome little FPV racing quad. Uh, it's a tiny whoop style. It's made by King Kong. It's the model 720 and we're going to check it out, so stay tuned. So the King Kong model 720 was provided by GearBest. Thanks, GearBest. It is a 75 millimeter diagonal quad, so it's pretty small, as you can see from me holding it. It's got uh, triple blades on the propellers. Um, it has a 25 milliwatt uh, transmitter with 16 channels for FPV, and I've already flown at FPV, and it's actually a pretty good little transmitter. Um, it's 5.8 gigahertz. It weighs 32 grams. It comes with a 1S battery, and it has a four to five minute flight time. Now one of the things that I thought was really interesting about this little guy was the battery charger. This is what came with it for a battery charger and I looked at this and went, what is that? How does that work? Uh, basically this battery charger uses a uh, XT60 connector um, from a two to four S LiPo battery. So I've got a, a four S um, I'm sorry, it's a 3S, 1500 milliamp hour LiPo battery right here with the XT60 connector. XT60 is that yellow one there. It connects right in like this. A white LED lights up, if you can see that there, to tell you that it's got power. And then what you do is you plug the um, battery, or batteries, because it has five slots, right into these little slots right here. And then a green LED comes on and that tells you that your battery is charging. So I actually have five batteries for this thing and it will charge five batteries at one time. I believe the kit comes with one battery, but, um, but if you get extras, see that one's already been charged so the light is out. The green light indicates that it is charging. So these batteries that come with it are 1S 450 milliamp hour batteries, but they are a high C number. Um, it says 80C slash 160C. I'll be honest, I don't know what 80 slash 160 means, but I do know that's a pretty high C number. A lot of these 1S batteries are 25, 20, 30 C batteries. And from what I understand, C is just the amount of punch you can get out of the battery, how quickly it can send energy out of it. Point being though, this is a pretty punchy battery with the 80 slash 160 C delineation. Uh, if anybody understands what a C rating is better than that, aside from just how much punch out it gives you, if you could explain in the comments, I'm sure the viewers would appreciate it. By the way, I am wearing my drone racer shirt today. I thought that would be most appropriate. If you do have someone that you know likes drones, likes flying drones, like racing drones, um, please visit my t-shirt shop and see if you can uh, get them a t-shirt or get yourself one. Got Ready Set Drone shirts, Darth Drone, uh, Drone Star State, the iDrone, like the iPhone, of course the uh, drone racer. It's uh, got lots of cool stuff. I'm making more shirts in time for the holidays, so hope you can check it out. So the King Kong Model 720 is about $140 on GearBest. And to me, that's a great price point because that includes the radio, it includes the charger, the batteries. It includes a bunch of spare props in different colors. It even has this handy little uh, plastic case that it came with that you can store it in, which is nice. You don't have to find another plastic case for it, and it's better than cardboard if it's sitting out in the garage or something. Um, the radio has very few switches, which I actually appreciate. I feel like um, extra switches are just a pain. It's got um, this one here, which is one, two, three, and it's got this one here, which is arm and disarm. And the arm and disarm actually does arm and disarm the motor. When you're in disarm, the motor's dead. When you're in arm, you know, it, it doesn't spin them up necessarily, but it arms them so that you can spin them up by turning up the throttle. It's mode two, meaning this is throttle and yaw, and it's, uh, feels pretty well bit built. This uh, radio can use four AA batteries or you can actually put a LiPo battery in it. It has an adapter in the back that you can pull out um, the AA's and put in a LiPo if you wanted to. I've got AA's in it right now. Um, one other thing about this little quad and that is it does have a USB port and it does work with beta flight and maybe clean flight. I'm not sure if it works with clean flight or not, but that's great because you can actually do some configuration to it. For example, if you want to make an acro mode, one of these settings, you can do that. If you want to have like an angle 
and horizon mode and then acro, you can do that with these settings using beta flight or clean flight. Um, if you don't know much about beta or clean flight, rest assured, um, there's a little bit of a learning curve, but it's well worth it to be able to tune your quad to the way you want it, customize it the way you want it. However, for today's review, I am not using beta or clean flight. I'm just going to be testing it as it comes straight from the factory. I've already flown it once and it is a lot of fun to fly. Um, I did fly an XK FPV racer uh, a couple of days ago and I really liked it. Uh, one of the things I really liked about it was the price point. It was under $100. This one's a little over $100. But I have to say, with the better radio um, and the image transmission from this thing, the camera on it, I feel like it might be a little bit better. It might be worth the other extra 40 or 50 bucks to look into this one. So all of that said, I'd say uh, it's time to put the battery in it, uh, get it in the air, and see how it flies. Uh, I've got the motor disarmed right now, so if I push the stick up, nothing happens. Now I flip to arm, push the stick up, and the motors start. Uh, I've already dialed in my um, recording, or my actually my um, FPV on my Omway goggles. By the way, these Omway goggles are a pretty cool alternative to Fat Sharks. I like them a lot. Um, they, I wouldn't say they're as nice as Fat Sharks. Fat Sharks are sort of the gold standard, but for um, uh, the price, these are really good. And one of the thing, advantage they have over Fat Sharks is they actually have two antennas instead of one, which I think gives you a clearer and less dropout kind of signal. But that's what I'm using today. I'm gonna try and do some recording in the goggles using the built-in DVR. So let me see if I can see the picture. So go ahead and just uh, see if I can show you the show you the picture here. There's the live view through the goggles. It's a very, very clear picture. Okay, here we go. Got my Omways on. I believe I'm recording with them. And I'm gonna take off and go. A little rough start. And this thing is pretty fast. You really gotta gauge yourself in terms of uh, how fast you fly especially if you're still just learning. It does hold altitude pretty well. Um, once you kind of get used to the sticks, it doesn't jump up and down a lot, which is nice. Kind of the same little route I took with the XK the other day. It's challenging, especially for me. Learning to get better and better at this. Right over me. And this is where it gets a little tricky when you go into these real contrasty areas from bright light. You can't necessarily see little tiny things like branches and such. But that's part of the fun. Again, I'm flying in a stabilized mode. Um, it, by default, it doesn't have a acro mode, I don't think. I flipped this switch. As a matter of fact, I'll come over here and I'll flip this switch again. And that doesn't really seem to do much. No matter what position it's in, it's all about the same. So. 
I think that's one of those things you need to change and set in uh, set in clean flight or beta flight. All right, let me see if I can go under the backstop here. And this is just great practice. I mean, ultimately, I want to get better at this. Um, I definitely want to get better at acro mode, so I will put this in clean flight and see if I can uh, put an acro mode into it. I'm pretty sure I can. Um, also, the XK comes with the acro mode uh, right out of the box, and you can't use clean flight on the XK, so. Oh, and I'm in the grass. Okay, it was fun flying it out in the backyard. Now we're gonna see what it's like to fly in the house. Obstacles galore. Nobody's home right now, so I do have that going for me. Uh, all I gotta really do is avoid the dog and the TV, and I should be good. So let's hit it and see what happens. Oop, gotta arm it, there we go. Narrow hallway upstairs. Find down that. Back out here. Oops, dropped a little too fast. Fly past the camera. Try going through the kitchen. It's always a challenge. Into the dining room. And around. And back through again. Really is just all about finesse with this controller. It's um, easy to overcompensate with this thing because it has a lot of responsiveness. And so if you just keep it nice and chill, you can fly pretty well through the house. Man, this is fun. I'm getting so much better at this than I used to be. It's taken me about a year of practicing FPV to get to where I can fly like this. And this is even in stabilized mode. And I'm still craning my neck, I'm sure. Try going up the stairs. we go, and around the corner, down the hall, around the corner, down, not quite so fast this time, into the living room, down the hall, There we go. It was bound to happen sooner or later. This thing is great for indoor flight. All right, so the King Kong Model 720 is a lot of fun. Uh, this thing is a great little uh, backyard FPV flyer, indoor FPV flyer. Generally, if you're careful with it, um, it's a great little quad to learn to fly FPV on. It's pretty stable. Uh, you can adjust it in clean flight and beta flight and it has uh, enough power to keep it really interesting. I am a big fan. Um, as I said, I like the XK as well. This one's a little more expensive. It kind of depends on what you want to do. The XK is about 90 bucks. This is about 140, so it's about $50 more, but definitely worth checking out. This is the King Kong Mini FPV Racer Model 720. I'll put a link in the description. If you like this video, I hope you'll subscribe to Ready, Set, Drone, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.